Then you have organizations lining up to do the aid work. And they're lining up and they're getting government funding once again to do this work. Most people look at an organization like CARE and think that this is an organization that is funding itself primarily by raising money from those ads within the, the pictures of the care packages or Save the Children is getting most of their money by sponsoring children. That's not true. They get most of their money, and in many cases 80 to 90 percent of their money, from governments and governmental organizations. They are in essence U.S. government contractors in the third world fighting for contracts uh, and, and this is important because what it means is they are very much in competition with each other to get that money. It also means that they are not looking at doing contracts in terms of what is going to help the people in this village, what is really going to help foster development in this situation. They are getting the contracts because they need the contracts to fund themselves. There's a, there's a chapter in my book where I, I talk about care in Somalia in, in the early days, before the, in, in the mid-80s. And care was feeding refugees in Somalia that many of the refugees didn't exist, and the refugees that were there really didn't need to be fed. And I sort of asked the question, why was care feeding them? The answer I found out was that care had an $8 million a year contract to feed them, which included a million dollars in salaries for, for their people on the ground, $650,000 in sort of inc incidental administrative fees that got kicked back to the home office. They need these contracts, and they fight for the contracts, and they battle for market share like Coke and Pepsi. Uh, I was in Goma Zaire uh, during the, the Rwandan refugee crisis uh, when the refugees started pouring out of Rwanda in, into the camps there. And before the refugees had gotten there, there were hundreds of NGOs and they'd all planted their flags and they had their little banners and they had their t-shirts and they had their hats and they were all out there and my impression was my god this is a trade show this it reminded me of being at the Javits Center in New York and seeing a bunch of people peddling their wares and that's in essence what they were doing they were fighting for turf they were fighting for market share they were fighting for their very existence 